traffic cameras are unlawful, they're unconstitutional, and they're very un-American. Imagine a cop dragging somebody into court saying, Your Honor, last week I saw a car go through a red light, so I wrote down the license plate number. Today I went by the owner's house and I got this guy. Shake him down for a hundred bucks. And if he can't afford it, double it. And if he doesn't pay that, take his license. Then I'll go pick him up for driving on a suspended license and throw him in jail. And the judge saying, well, well, wait a minute. Did you actually see this person committing the crime? And the cop's saying, no, but so what? I'm just doing what the traffic cameras do. Officer, approach the bench. What are you, nuts? That's extortion. We're not the mafia. Didn't they teach you anything about presumed to be innocent until proven guilty? Cut them loose. So why is it that we continue to pay the unlawful, unconstitutional, and un-American tickets? I'll tell you why. Like any successful protection racket, which is exactly what it is, it's often cheaper to pay the tribute than to take a day off court, than to suffer the indignity of being in court all day. And besides, if, if one person were to stand up against their power, they'd crush them. Judge, I move that you dismiss my ticket on account it's unconstitutional. Yeah, right. Denied. Whack. If the judge were to dismiss the ticket, admit that it's wrong, he'd be admitting that he's complicit, a party to participating in a racket. You think he's going to do that? That's how he gets paid. How do you think he pays for the dues at his country club? You ignorant peasant. Really? So it's with that thinking that I created my new license plate holder.